Hi everyone, it's Kylie from Painted Wing. Today's video will be a behind the scenes on one of my current projects. I am currently prepping art for an upcoming event. Instead of framing my paintings like I usually do, I am instead mounting them to panels and sealing them with wax. Here are a couple of the first pieces I made. I need to create about 40 pieces by November, so I have a lot of building and painting to do. I'll show you guys some of my process, but this won't be a tutorial. I feel like I need to work out the kinks and see how these hold up before doing so. I will post some resources in the description of the video if you want to create your own. So that footage was from last week. With my husband's help, we were able to get 17 panels built using two sheets of plywood and three boards of poplar. We built panels in a variety of sizes. The smallest were 14 by 14 inches and the largest was 30 by 36. I painted the cardinal and chickadee on 15 by 18 inch panels. I wanted to test the process on smaller panels before going to something bigger. The paper I'm using for these panels is Arches Cold Press paper that comes in a roll. The roll is 51 inches by 10 yards long. Now I'm painting a great blue heron on one of my 20 by 24 inch panels. I waited 24 hours for the panel to dry before painting this piece. 
One thing I'm liking so far about mounting the paper onto the panel before painting is that it stretches the paper so it doesn't warp while I paint. I usually paint on Arches block paper, and I like using the blocks so I don't have to stretch my paper, but there is a size limitation with using them. They only come up to 18 by 24 inches. I made it a goal to start painting larger. And while I was working part time at an art gallery, I noticed that the watercolor artists that worked large usually mounted their work onto panels, so I thought it'd be fun to try it out once I had access to a shop. If you don't have the tools or the time to build your own boards, you can buy them as well. I think they even sell them with the watercolor paper already mounted. I personally enjoy building my own, and I like being able to customize my sizes. It also is more cost effective to do it this way. And things add up a lot if you're doing up to 40 pieces. I think I'm going to focus on painting this hair in, and then I'll show you the results. So here's how the heron turned out. It's not my favorite heron, but I do kind of like how the green looks. That might be something I play around with in the future. Next, I'll be working on painting a common loon. I've been staying on a lake in Minnesota this summer, and I've been hearing them all the time, so I thought I should paint one. One thing that I'm doing differently while painting on these panels is I am transferring my sketch with graphite paper onto the panel instead of freehand drawing on the paper. Most of the time, I normally just freehand sketch. I usually create a piece on a larger piece of paper, so then I can crop the paper after I'm done painting.
All right, and here's how the loon turned out. So that's all I have so far for these panels. I'll probably be posting an update later on this project. I also have a few finishing touches to do, and I need to add hardware. I'll probably create a tutorial in the future once I have more experience building these. I can also make one on framing and matting as well. But thank you so much for watching as I built these. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you have a great rest of your day.